everybody, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Nerf End Strike Recon CS6. So, the Recon CS6 is a spring powered um, End Strike Blaster. So, it's, it has a stock attachment point, a front attachment point, and one tactical rail right here on the primary handle. Now, personally, I don't like this tactical rail because whenever I have a sight, I seem like I seem to always pull it off. I know sights don't help, but it's cool, so I'm going to leave it like that. But it kind of bugs me, especially when I'm climbing. When I take a shot, it just doesn't work. It has um, a relatively large grip with an extra dart storage down here. No one mentions that. And a uh, cool little sling mount. The recon comes with a 6 star magazine, mine hole 7. Don't know why, super tech cool though. You probably read um, I think that's it. It has a, I think it has a weird looking shell. Same as the Retaliator, but it's kind of, it feels, but it feels good. Climbing smooth. My jams a little much, so that's going to be showing in the firing test. So, I think that's, um, this looks cool, but it isn't anything. Same with this, but it's just a really comfy hand grip. I use it as a hand grip. Uh, I think that's it. Anything else I need to go over? Oh, yes. Now, again, this is a Climbing handle, spring powered blaster, and when you pull this back, you can see the jam door right here, so you can clear up jams with your fingers, or just pull out the magazine as I like to do, because um, I have nothing better to do with my life. Yeah, my gun jams a lot, so I might just kind of deal with it that way. Sorry, something on the camera. On my really crappy camera <laughs> that I got from Walmart, sort of. Yeah. Um, the six round magazine, I forgot to read this when I was recording it, but it has a little like primary, like a dart indicator. I don't like right here. So it's, you get a general idea of how much dart you have. If it's tucked to the very bottom, you have a full low clip. And then I think you could probably just take a safe guess. Um, the, this is the like little like handle to pull out the. Blaster, the magazine. Now, I found I always used it like this because this one's a lot, a lot more smoother. I'm going to show you why. So, there's this shooter, and then you have to get a magazine. If you go to this handle, the magazine doesn't come out, but if I'm shooting like this with um, my stockade stock that I had on, I could be uh, I could be like, okay, I'll take out the magazine. I was going to do an 18 round one because but I all have is a 6 one. Blow it up. I keep firing. Take off the focus of the dock. I don't come with any of the attachments. I got it like this off from a buddy of mine. I'm pretty sure I don't know. Yeah, but you stick it. This this is what the stock attachment point looks like. This is an elite stock. I haven't reviewed that very old blaster. But one of the first clip fed and strike blasters. So let's just get right into the firing test. I'll be firing a full clip. So I'll see you all when we do it. Okay, guys, time for the firing test. This time I will jam. Okay, guys, I can't do a firing test since this gun's broken. So just, I'll just give you an opinion. What? Pretty good. If my gun didn't jam as much, I would do a firing test, but I'm sorry. It's kind of got to be some time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. So you guys are going to the suit, you saw the fail firing test, it didn't work. So I'll just get to my opinion. I said I'm pretty satisfied with it, but overall when I think about it, my the recon is old, doesn't have the best ranges. So I'm not as happy as some other blasters I've seen, but I'm pretty satisfied. So I'll see you all later. Goodbye!